Hello there. I just want to talk about um, spiritual awakening. And um, I want to talk about, um, you know, how you attract things and, you know, and what the point is. You know, the, the, the big point is that, you know, when we want things, what I've learned from the spiritual awakening journey unexpected thing is um, I say that all the time in every video I do but um, it's, 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 it's always new things I learn all the time I get awakens all the time so it's always something new but I say this a lot that that um, it's wanting things that blocks your energy see energy is to do with the way we perceive reality it's not just a case of focusing on parts of your body or trying to do something with your body. That's a part of it also. But also, the big, you know, the biggest part is your perceptions. Your perception dictates your energy fields. Your, your perception dictates how you, how you see food or what kind of, you know, it's all to do with your perceptions. And so, you know, and the problem is for, you know, forgetting things is wanting things. It's like most people get to get into spirituality. Um, I, what, I've seen these kind of people and they get involved in this kind of thing because they want energies or they want enlightenment. They want, they want to feel great or they want um, to get abundance and they think that's money or they want law of attraction. It's all about wanting, wanting, wanting. But this is the blockage. This is what's keeping you unhappy. And what's keeping you unhappy, <clears throat> excuse me, what's keeping you unhappy is you're locking yourself down by wanting. See, I always say that wants are hurts. And that's something I always say, and it is true. When you when you have that feeling of, I want this, the focus should be a, a, away from what you want and, on, and you should think of and feel, why do I want this? What is the unhealed part within me, the unhealed feeling that makes me desire something more than I have right now? And then if you focus upon that unhealed part, then you will find insight into as you go deeper and deeper with it you'll get insight into why you felt this way and then you can heal it and then what happens is you let go more and more of these unhealed parts and then you want less and less and then you're more present and then you attract more abundance see abundance is a bit like imagine you know me wanting anything wanting something but the answer and the clarity and the amazing insight is within the stillness, the very delicate stillness. And it's like, oh, wow. And I've learned that rich, be to be rich is what you feel, not what you have. That's real abundance. It's infinite um, within growth. Right? That's abundance. And it's always happening. And this is the real richness. Because what is rich if you don't feel great? Right? So that's the real abundance. And, um, you know, but that should be the focus on why do I want this? You know, what is it that's making me so unhappy that's making me chase and be so unhappy? You know? You know, I also want to want to move on a little bit and um, talk about spiritual awakening as well. You know, I saw on Twitter before I came on here. You know, I've got over 400 views now on one of my videos. That's a lot for me. Um, that I made yesterday about parallel realities, and this is what ha what happened when I had this awakening. One thing led to another, and and you know, everything is just imagine. You notice your, your imagination, your thoughts, and imagination is like parallel realities. That's because it is. Right? And you can use this to heal yourself. And I've done a video yesterday on it, but spiritual awakening I want to talk about. That this experience <clears throat> for me 
was unexpected, but when I say unexpected, I meant that when I had this awakening, it was a case of me, I sat down one day, and then I guess it was a big feeling of having enough. And I learned that once you go with all that God wants is you to go within. Once you decide that you've had enough of the external illusions, <clears throat> then once you say, right, okay, I'm listening now, that is when you awaken. And that's what happened to me. And um, there are some people that are going through these experiences, I notice on the internet, and you know, and they're still saying, oh, it's not feeling good, but that's your problem, you see. It's like that thing I was saying earlier in the video, that you're wanting. It's that wanting that you need to let go of. It's the unhealed parts that you're still healing from that is getting you to think, oh, I want this, because it's better than what you feel right now, but it's the unhealed parts that's making you feel bad right now. That's what makes us um, want to do anything. You know, I don't drink alcohol. I used to drink alcohol and, and it faded and faded and got less and less. I was never a big drinker. But when I had the awakening, I guess, um, you know, I, I was drinking more because of what I was going through. And then it what I noticed is as I was healing, it was getting less and less and less until until I don't drink at all now. I haven't even been drinking on my birthday, which was October, and the Christmas and New period, and, and also I won't be drinking a New Year. You know, so but alcohol is um, is a drug created by the system, designed to get us into the demonic realms. You know, I'm not going to talk about that in detail in this video, but that's what it's for. And I and I learned this in my awakening. It takes us into a lower a lower realm where we're stuck there. You notice how it takes ages to sober up? Well, that's why it does that, you know, it's... And that's why it's legal, it's perfectly legal to buy it. But there, but what my point is, I got off of this alcohol, and other things also left me, because how we... When you heal, things that um, you desired, they melt away. And they melt away, you have to experience these things. In healing, you have to go by what you want to do. And then as you're doing it, when you're, as you're doing this, this heals you. When you do what you, re, you, you want to do. And then the desire will get less and less, and that's when you're healing. Because desires, wants, are unhealed parts within us. Manifested. That's what they are when we desire something. The reason we desire is because the ego... Um, is what is the, the ego could actually be your friend a lot of people don't realize this that the ego can be your friend and it's gonna it's gonna guide you to feel good all the time and this is very healing for you but as you ascend more and more and you go more and more within you realize that the ego is an illusion as well as a self because everything has to come from nothingness you know, everything has to come from non-existence at some stage, meaning, what is existence then? It's like anything, if you if you, you look at a baby, you know, a person, as soon as the, that person's born, the perceptions are being moulded, so no one's in their right mind, and when you awaken spiritually, you realise this. You know, awakening also, I want to add, doesn't have to be as painful as, as what people make out. The reason we suffer is because our perceptions have been molded that so we suffer. Right? It's all to do with mind control. It's all to do with mind control and the pay the, the you know the, you, you only have to control one generation. Like imagine this picture here on this this talk I'm doing. You know, if, if you program one generation one lifetime on planet Earth, they will then program their all their all their children. So that's how easy it is. You know, and um, and and then they will be programmed to to what the system wants. But what's happening just now is people have had spiritual awakenings, and they are passing their knowledge on as they're healing more and more, and the planet is awakening. That's why the smart grid is is um, being put out there because the system knows it's game over. Even with a smart grid, it doesn't work because once you awaken. As you go deeper and deeper, you realize your infinity. 
And that's all we are, just infinite awareness. And we, we can do anything. Um, you're just infinite consciousness and, um, you know, your consciousness is guiding you through everything and, you know, we go through an experience, experience, like I said the other day, you know, everything, life is like a triangle. Like I've been looking up lately, the Godhead and it's like the source at the top, the life and the lesson. But they're all each other, you see. You know, but the source is actually, you know, it's what it's what you have right here. There is nothing separate. You know, and the reason it has to look so vast and so much is that you probably go mad if it didn't if it didn't seem that way. It, you know, it wouldn't be fun. It wouldn't be fun if um, if there wasn't a separate experience. You know. The whole idea of awakening is so that you become oneness, you know you're oneness, but you you know that it's just an experience of being separate. But the separation um, is an illusion from awareness, you see. That's because awareness presents, a, um, you know, once you're aware, you're aware of something. You see? And the reason everything is so vast what I've learned is that because you come from infinite nothingness and nothingness is infinity of potential. Meaning as soon as you're aware, there's infinite vastness of, of things because it's infinite potential, it's infinite possibility. So this infinite possibility is manifesting itself in front of your eyes and you're doing it because you're the infinity. You know, and um, regarding this triangle, yeah, it is like that. You know, the source and you've got the the infinity, the the... The, the infinity, the source, and and um, but the life and the lesson is all like it's all feeding each other. But the triangle is just one possibility of explaining this. But there's an infinite possibility of whatever. And to access this infinity of possibility, you just look within yourself. You look internally, within your heart space. Within there is the connection to your divinity to your soul, to your infinite layers of, of divinity. But anyway, if you're watching, you're meant to watch it, everything falls to divine order and divine timing. Thank you for watching. Thank you.